This may well be the best kept secret in Palos Verdes, created especially for children to learn more about the wonders of nature in Palos Verdes. We're happy to bring you a special RPV television feature called Third Grade Naturalist Program. It's been created and organized by the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy. And as you'll see, it brings in a You Are There format what today's youth might call cool, fun, and information about ecology in the local classrooms. To share with you more about this interesting program, here is your host, John Nieto. The third grade nature program uh, was put together 17 years ago uh, with the first school, uh, Silver Spur School. Uh, the elementary school there had a local canyon that some of the children uh, didn't know existed. And uh, with all its treasures and, and wonder, uh, so one of the moms, uh, had the idea of, of getting the kids together in class and uh, teaching them a little bit about the habitat, the natural habitat here. One, uh, one interesting fact is that all of this preserved habitat wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be a habitat now uh, except for the California gnat catcher and its uh, physical requirement to nest only in the sage scrub uh, itself. The, the sage uh, brush, the Artemisia californica, is the only plant that uh, the bird nests in. And each bird family needs anywhere from 5 to 20 acres of habitat to uh, hunt in. And depending on how rich that habitat is, the, the lesser amount of habitat is required. So that's, that's probably the key interesting fact to this whole uh, idea of coming out here with the kids. I got in. Sage, sage brush, lemonberry, fennel, poppy, bush, sunflower, black sage, and wild cucumber. Wild cucumber, what? Looks like that. <laughs> like a big spike ball. The seeds are poisonous. So these started out as like fuzzy green tennis ball looking things. They're not edible and then eventually these little spikes would grow out of it. Inside um, there are seeds but the seeds uh, were not edible, in fact they're poisonous. They would use these like marbles or they would string them up as necklaces and if they wanted to catch fish they could grind it up and it would stun the fish so the fish would float to the top and then they could gather up the fish and then cook it and then it would be safe to eat. Um, some of the Indians made this, um, made like something out of this for no toothaches. Um, the sagebrush. Sagebrush. Um, the Indians rubbed it all over them and put it and put them on when they were hunting, so the animals don't run away. Um, the bees do not sting. The California bees. And so it's evolved to uh, now include all 10 schools in the Palos Verdes district. 
uh, also heritage school here on the peninsula. And uh, now we, uh, we have a total of 22 schools, uh, with most of the schools being off the peninsula. We have schools in San Pedro, Torrance, Redondo Beach, Carson, Lomita, Harbor City, and uh, they just uh, love the program. Uh, the teachers are just in, in love with the program itself. Uh, for years now, they, they want us to come back, and so every year uh, we bring the program back to the kids. Did you know there are bees that don't sting you and cactus that can be served for dinner? Well, now you do. The only question now, of course, is when are you going to enroll your child in this fun and interesting project by the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy? I'm John Clayton, and thanks for watching. Thank you.